Gold prices reversed an overnight rally in London trade Thursday, steadying around $2,300 per troy ounce after giving back the $30 gained on yesterday's no-change decision from the U.S. Federal Reserve on dollar interest rates. Global stock markets regained one-third of this week's previous 1.5% drop, and bond prices also rallied, pulling 10-year Treasury borrowing costs down to the lowest in a fortnight, after the Fed reduced the pace of its quantitative tightening but said it will keep short-term rates at today's two-decade high until it has gained greater confidence that inflation is falling. Gold neutral, says brokerage Stonex's bullion specialist Rona O'Connell, reviewing the Fed meeting. The FOMC came out much as expected with higher for longer, still the mantra, after that position was seemingly abandoned at the end of 2023. But with Jerome Powell rejecting the idea of any further rate rises at Wednesday's press conference, major central bank policy is willing to accept higher for longer inflation, adds Nikki Shields at Swiss Bullion Refining and Finance Group MKS PAMP, a collective turn which gold sniffs amidst solid physical demand. Wednesday's Fed statement and press conference followed surprise weakness in US manufacturing data as the ISM PMI survey, after stabilising for the first time in 17 months in March, said activity shrank in April, while input costs leapt, with prices paid coming in at the strongest since June 2022. I was around for stagflation, and it was 10% unemployment, it was high single digits inflation, said Powell during yesterday's Fed press conference referring to the 1970s and early 80s. Right now we have 3% growth and we have inflation running under 3%, so I don't see the stag or the flation actually. The Fed's May statement repeated the opening paragraph from its previous decision in March, but added that while job gains have remained strong and the unemployment rate has remained low, in recent months, there has been a lack of further progress toward the committee's 2% inflation objective. Back in precious metals, the three largest bullion-backed trust funds all saw small outflows on Wednesday, with the GLD and IAU Gold ETFs reversing more of their recent growth, while Silver's SLV fund shrank almost 0.6% to the smallest in over a week. The silver price also reversed its overnight rally on Thursday, before falling to new four-week lows just above $26 per troy ounce. The UK gold price in pounds per ounce steadied around £1,840, while gold priced in euros traded at €2,150, also a new record high when first reached at the start of April. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel.